Welcome to this video demonstration of Database Exporter for Outlook. Database Exporter makes it incredibly easy to export data from your emails, appointments, tasks or even contacts to an external database. Before I proceed in detail on how Database Exporter works and what it can do for you, it is interesting to know why this add-on was designed at the first place. To understand this, let us try to export data from an Outlook folder, which uses a custom form with many user-defined fields, using the built-in Import and Export wizard. As you can notice here, the import and export wizard does not support handling of user-defined custom fields. Even the support for built-in Outlook fields are limited. For example, the wizard does not allow you to export the HTML body of the Outlook item. And the worst ever, it does not give you an option to select a folder from other shared mailboxes or from under the public folders. So, you are forced to write scripts to handle all export chores involving custom forms yourself. What worst is, what you wrote works only for that particular Outlook form that you have customized. What if you have many customized forms? It is with this limitation in mind, we have designed Database Exporter to give you a greater freedom and flexibility in exporting Outlook data to an external database. Now, you can export any kind of data, including custom fields, to a database in a simple click, or even better, automatically with no intervention from the user. With Database Exporter, you can use one of the three ways of exporting Outlook data to an external database. Exporting items of an Outlook folder to a database. Exporting items including those in subfolders to a database. Automatic live export of incoming emails or newly added appointments or tasks to a database. To demonstrate the first option, which is to export the contents of a folder, I will make use of my default calendar to export all the appointments to an external database. Click Export to DB button on the Database Exporter toolbar, and from the Fields Selection dialog, I can choose which fields are to be included into the export. By default, the first option, Retrieve, from the first item is selected, and what it does is, to probe the first item of the folder, and automatically seek out all the available fields, including any number of user-defined custom fields. It is recommended that you stick with this option of displaying the fields, unless you want to retrieve Outlook specific fields only, in which case you can use the second option. You can use the third option if you want to use a particular custom form out of many defined for that Outlook folder. Now, this time, I want all the items of the subfolders to be included in the export. To do this, I will go to the Settings dialog and check this option. I also have the option to export all the items from the subfolders to a single table, or to export each subfolder to a separate table. I have this public folder which has multiple nested subfolders and contains appointments, 
tasks, and contacts apart from emails. First, I will select some fields common to all these different Outlook items. And then, let us see how a single table export for all items of the subfolders would look like. Now, let us try out the second field's export option, where each subfolder will be exported to a separate table in the same database. Note that, with this option, you also have further control over the fields to be included in the table for each subfolder. For our demonstration, I will select the last option, where it will probe the first item to seek out the available fields for each subfolder. As you notice from the Access Database, a table is created for each subfolder. For easy recognition and also to avoid naming conflict, when two or more subfolders have the same name, nested path is used as the table name. So far, we have seen how to export the contents of a folder and its subfolders to a database manually. What if I want the export to be done automatically, without any interference from my side? Exciting, isn't it? One major feature introduced in version 2 is the real-time monitoring of any number of Outlook folders. This can also be a public folder or a shared mailbox folder. To start with, Press the Automation button from the Database Exporter toolbar, and you will be presented with the Automatic Live Export dialog. First I will specify an Outlook folder, say my default task folder to be monitored. Then, I will retain the default name of the database and browse the destination folder to save the database. Now what is left is to choose the fields that I want to include in the export. As you can notice here, the same fields selection window is used here. I will select all fields and click save. I have now selected 51 fields. Of course, you can check out the ones that are not needed. Lastly, I will also check this option so that whenever I update existing task items in my task folder, the changes get reflected in the database also at the same time. Configuration for this folder is done and I click the confirm button to add this task folder to the list and click save changes. Now, Database Exporter will create the new database and the existing items of my task folder will be synchronized in the database. So now, Database Exporter is monitoring my task folder for any new task items. 
It is also monitoring for any updates made on the existing items. To verify, let us create a new task item. And I click Save. Now, let us open the database directly and look out for this particular task item. Here it is, just added automatically. Likewise, to try out the automatic update of existing record, I will edit the same task item that I had added just now. I will update the subject and the note. And I click Save. Let us open the database again and verify if the update was made automatically. There it is. Database exporter made the necessary update to the corresponding record of the database automatically. Excellent automation. So, there is no limit to the type and number of Outlook folders you can monitor for automatic live export. You can use the normal mail folder, or the appointment folder, or the task folder, or even the contact folder. Whichever folder you specify, Database Exporter will automatically export incoming items from the folder to the database without any intervention from the user. We have learned that Automatic Live Export enables you to maintain a parallel copy of the Outlook data and keeps the database in synchronization with the specified Outlook folder. This spares you from having to do that laborious work of copying and pasting the data from Outlook to external database manually. This concludes this video demonstration on Database Exporter for Outlook. If you have any queries or comments, please write to us at support at assistmyteam.net. Thank you for watching.